gunmen. Nigerian Army exchanged fire in Emo over sit at home directive. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The gun battle started as early as 6 a.m. on Tuesday when the gunman allegedly enforcing the partial lockdown order of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB barricaded the roads, ordering people to go back to their houses. Now the news in detail. The Nigerian Army personnel and some gunmen are having a heavy shootout at the Ingbidi and Akata and the Oru West local government area of Yemo State. The Sun reports that a source from the area explained that the gun battle started as early as 6 a.m. on Tuesday when the gunmen allegedly forcing the partial lockdown order of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB barricaded the roads, ordering people to go back to their houses. However, the source said that they were later confronted by the military who responded swiftly to counter their order. As at the time of this report, it is not clear if there were any casualty on both sides. Recall that the indigenous people of Biafra yesterday urged the people in the southeast to pray fervently for peace in the zone, unconditional release of Namdekano, and restoration of a Biafra nation. Although a statement by the spokesperson of the group, Ima Powerful, did not order a seat at home, it urged people to lock up their shop temporarily during the duration of the prayers and open shortly after. Still trying to find out how, you know, this is a threat to them. Sincerely, how is this a threat to people now? Is what I don't understand. How is it a threat to people? Anytime these people say they want to do, how am I going to put it now? Finally, okay, they have taken away this seat at home order. And they said, okay, people can go back. Still, yes, people are coming. And IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, have always come out to say, they have said that enough is enough for people who are enforcing seat at home. They have said enough is enough. Now, it is happening again. These people have said, okay, we want, let, us, let us do prayer for this particular man. They have decided to show their, how am I going to show solidarity by including him in their appearance for a short while. It is not even, they have said it as we have learned in the news that um, information getting to us about hours ago. They do not, they are not saying it at home. They are saying for a short while, prayer will go on and at the end of free prayers, you can go to your shop. Now, I am still asking, why is it that we always hear when these things happen, that people come out and people are win I mean, Injured that the Nigerian, I mean, uh, uh, the Nigerian army, yes, the truth that was sent there will always come out at this particular day to terrorize people. Something fishy is going on. They will always come out and say, people, people, people. At the end of the day, clips will start going around social media that, you know, there was no people. That is my annoyance. Clips will start going around, around social media, video clips will start going around social media and you will say that there was nothing like gunmen. There is nothing like you will start hearing how people have been killed just like that. Information getting to us this morning was how a 20-year-old girl and her brother were shot. She died on the spot while the brother is still receiving treatment in the hospital. This is the news that goes on in the Southeast region. You no longer know what to believe. The media comes out and tells you their own that, oh, it is this amount of people uh, and these people, this is what happened. They came, the, the indigenous people of Biafra come out and tell you, oh, that this thing is not our doing, no. We cannot, we are not a violent people. Sincerely, what is going on? Let there be peace in the southeastern region, for crying out loud. Let there be peace. I mean, why, how long will these people continue to suffer? How long will they, what is their crime? What is their crime? It is now a crime for them to at least sit back and do their prayers. They are not this, are they disturbing you? I don't understand. Meanwhile, their husband is ravaging the north, though. They are not ravaging the north for prayers. They are going from house to house, raping, killing, and giving people lifetime trauma. Trauma that will last them for the rest of their lives and even beyond. You can never get yourself if you encounter those people called the bandits and terrorists. And yet, in the southeastern part of the country, you keep hearing how speed these people go into action. This thing was announced just yesterday or about two days ago that they were going to organize this prayer. And all of a sudden, 
is spread and wife. But if, if it's a situation whereby people are planning to attack a particular person in the northern region, you will not hear. They are not going to hear. Yes. What is going on? What is going on? Let it be known that these same soldiers, the people that you're killing, they are actually the family members of your colleagues. Let it be known. No. If you are in the military and <laughs> you are in the place that is called the Southeast region, let it be known that those your colleagues that you are signed into or you entered into um, the Nigerian army with, these people, are, they are slot, you are slaughtering the, your, their, their, their people, their family members now. Take it or leave it. Sincerely, I, don't, I, can't, I can't seem to understand why it is continued to be like this. First of all, trips are sent down there. And you know, before you know it, things started getting worse. If it were to be me, me that I send the trips, I will call them. Why is it that this region accepts the agenda is, is, is a hidden agenda? You call them and ask them, why is it that the peace that is supposed to have been restored to this region is not still, is not still, we are not seeing it. Why is it? Then you, 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 they strategize and, you know, get things done in another way. But no, we keep hearing how, you know, we hear that government attack the people. I mean, government attack the, the, the police. We keep hearing that on a, on a daily basis. And yet, there's no proof. There is no video proof or picture proof of these things. All you see is the destruction that the army has done. Last week, it was reported in our mama that uh, they killed one, one police of, I mean, one army officer. And before, you know, the military went and was burning houses. Do you not see date the police, the army officer who was killed or the army personnel? The picture has not been sent. The videos have not been sent. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do you know that? What is clearly being seen are people houses being raised. What is going on? What is going on? In everything that is wrong with Nigeria, it is right now and right now that these people say, oh, uh, um, how am I going to put it now? You are coming up with this kind of thing at this time. You are right. You are sleeping on the bicycle. Because I don't just understand. I don't understand one bit. These people have, have come out and to, uh, uh, come out and said, okay, before now, before, before the raid on, on their leader's house and everything, they have come out to say, look, they wanted justice, fairness, and equity. But unfortunately, because of, I do not know what's maybe the inhuman treatment given to their said leader now. All I can say, these people are not even considering that option. The, it is like the more the government lays pressure on them, the worse they become, and they do not even want to listen to the government. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I call you, come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.